the stages of fervor, the incubation of hope within preparation. So what are some stages of fervor? Uh, and uh, what are we talking about with fervor? Uh, I guess it's going to be the, uh, uh, the, the buildup, the excitement, the energy, you know, have, having uh, a lot of ump, you know, a lot of mojo, if you will, in a modern term, uh, a lot of energy behind you and with purpose and intent. And, and you're moving through. Nothing can stop you. And, uh, and, and so what are these stages that give you this, this mojo to help you incubate uh, this hope that we talk about so that we can actually have a better life and maybe do some of that uh, through preparation? Well, fervor, you know, sometimes comes and stems from uh, having a loving background, having a, a, a family system, uh, you know, having a, a, a foundation built with that family system, uh, with uh, common goals, and uh, a lot of unity, good communication, uh, a solid foundation there uh, of, uh, of unity, you know, things that we're going to do together. And there's no question that you guys wouldn't, uh, you know, help each other. You know, you guys would go to the ends of the world to help each other. So there's definitely a camaraderie, if you will. Another thing is that you all have uh, a plan of action that you're all in the same, you know, part uh, of the plan. You also have uh, the all the contributing aspects of you guys work together to build the plan, uh, and uh, you guys are all having the same uh, purpose to accomplish uh, these plans. And uh, you all respect each other in in the, in you know in accomplishing the plans. And so the fervor comes from the building up of each other in the process of. Um, of the unity of the group. Uh, if it's just you individually that you can do things by, uh, you know, making goals and um, and working, uh, like we have in a video that talks about reverse engineer the goal and break down that goal and, and accomplish goals, create a history of goal uh, making uh, and, uh, and of accomplishing your goals. And the more you accomplish, the more it gathers momentum. And so a fervor is, is kind of the buildup and, and just like this energy that uh, we can accomplish by uh, having the focus and, and, and getting things done that actually have purpose. And that's a real big thing that people don't talk about is actions that are purposeful in preparation. Not just going through the motion because you saw it on a forum or because the art of prepping said so, but actually saying to yourself, this makes sense for me and I really need to do this and I might do it a certain spe you know special way and make it still it really works extra well for me so for example it, it could be something with um, you want to increase your water supply you know your actual storage and there's no more room inside your home but you have a garage maybe you could actually fix up some rain barrels uh, that not only feed from the outside to the outside barrels but put extra barrels on the inside and maybe make a contraption uh, they actually funnel some water into those uh, rain barrels on the inside, so you have holding tanks there too. Uh, I mean, there's all kinds of things you can do, but if you're not excited about it, if you don't have the mojo, you know, you're not, you're not moving in that direction, if you're not working as a group, if you're not on the same page, you don't get there. You know, it's very hard to hit, you know, headbutt each other and try to move in a, in a fluid fashion. Uh, you just don't become a very efficient uh, machine, if you will. And just like me uh, doing some of these videos, I, I try to have things set a certain time of the day. I do my videos so I can do other things in my life and then I can come back and do more videos, um, you know. And so I'm able to be very efficient because I have a system that works. And you have to have a system that works within your family, uh, your personal relationships, of course, and within prepping. It can't just be something that you do every once in a while. Uh, preparation is a lifestyle, especially if you are a, a real prepper. Uh, and I don't want to overuse the word prepper at all too much, but just like someone who identifies himself as a survivalist or bushcrafter, it's not like it's a you know a part-time job per se. Now, with the bushcrafter, you might say, well, I have to be in the woods to practice my bushcraft, but that's not even really that true either. There's actually a, a mentality that you keep with you every day, if, even if you're in the bush or not in the bush. So... So this is just some just different uh, chats here about this. And uh, I, I find it very interesting, though, to hear about how people integrate uh, these mindsets of what they, uh, they believe into their lives. And, uh, and so, I mean, so many people do it in so many different subtle ways, too. You know, it could be so subtle that uh, you kind of almost wouldn't think that they are a prepper. But they have things that are so well integrated that it doesn't bring any attention and, uh, and that's a really smooth way to go about it. 
So uh, build yourself up, build others up, and uh, continue the flow of your, of your purpose in your life by, uh, by feeding it and uh, reinforcing it uh, on a daily basis so that you can keep growing in that process to get to where you want to be. And that, that's the whole point. And not to say that the process itself isn't going to be very rewarding. And that may be, for some people, the whole reason they're doing it because they love the process. They love the actual gathering of supplies, or they love the learning of new skills and learning to maybe even meet new people. That's all part of the process uh, that actually helps contribute to the end goal. And so you have to have both, the process and the results. Uh, otherwise, the, the prepping just doesn't really uh, fully function as it should. So I uh, hope everyone's well and very safe. Uh, it's getting kind of dark out here, so I'm going to wrap it up. You guys, take care. Catch you later.